Welcome back to On The Beat, everyone. I'm over here with Dr. Cameron Huxford from the Huxford Clinic, and today we're talking all about asthma. Welcome back to the show, my Thank friend. Thank you. Okay, asthma. Where do we sit in the state of Mississippi as opposed to the rest of America with people who suffer from asthma? I think we probably have a lot of people compared to other places, and I think a lot of that's driven by the allergies that people in the Deep South are exposed to. Really? Yes. And is it all year round, do you think? For some people it is. Some people will have certain seasons that it bothers them. Some maybe just the spring or some maybe just the fall, depending okay. on what's blooming. Okay. But a lot of people will have it all year long. Interesting. All right. Now, I don't know about you at home, but I like to know the definition of things and what it actually is. What is asthma? Explain well, uh, that in Yeah, the, the textbook definition is reversible airway obstruction. Right. But in asthma, you can most of the time you can breathe in okay, you can inhale normally, but when you go to exhale, you can never fully get all the air out of your lungs, and so it gets trapped in there. And then after you give someone a, an inhaler or a breathing treatment, that obstruction goes away, and then they can exhale fully. Okay, what is that inhaler? What is it doing to, is it our lungs that our asthma is part of, or? It's technically, it's, it's not technically a lung problem, it's more of an airway problem. So the oh. airways that, that take air from, you know, your mouth into your trachea, and the airways get smaller and smaller, and the asthma affects the airways. Okay. okay. And it causes con constriction of the airways. Are there different levels of asthma? Yes, I mean we can, we will grade it, some people will just have exercise induced asthma, but then we grade it as mild, moderate, severe, and so forth. Okay, is it hereditary? Not really, I suppose right. it could run in families, yeah. but there is no known genetics that we know of. Okay, how is it different from COPD, if at all? COPD is, is typically what you see in smokers, and it's oh, in the word course. chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, it tends to be irreversible or only partially reversible obstruction compared to asthma which is completely reversible. Uh, one of our camera crew was saying to you off camera that when it gets hotter and more humid he suffers his asthma comes on a lot stronger. Is that something you see a lot of? Oh, definitely. You know, a lot of it's the certain grasses that may be uh, right. blooming, but just the, the heat and the humidity can make it harder to breathe. Okay. What happens if someone is sitting at home and they hear these symptoms that you're describing but have never been told that they are asthmatic? Is that the correct terminology? Uh, yes, yes. What do they need to do? Well, not, not everyone will have all the symptoms. You know, okay. the, I guess the classic, the classic symptoms would be shortness of breath, wheezing, coughing, chest tightness, and some of the times those can be at rest and sometimes they can be with exertion, but not everybody will have all of those. Okay. So if you have any one of those that would be, that's been persistent, that would be reason enough to go get checked out. If you are having an asthma attack, and you don't have your ventilator or any of the things that you would normally utilize to calm that attack down, what is your best advice for someone? Well, if it's and what really they should bad, be doing? Yeah, if it's really bad, and, and most people would know, especially those who've, who've dealt with it before, but yes. sometimes they have to go to the emergency room, especially if they don't have their, their treatments with them, their various inhalers. Yes. But oftentimes, if it's not that severe and they don't have to go to the ER, then getting in a cool place, blowing a fan in front of your face, right. some of those things can help calm down. Okay. Just try not to panic. Right. Because that elevates everything, the symptoms as well, correct? Right. All righty. Great advice, buddy. We right. really Thank appreciate you. you. If you want to find out more information about asthma or, guess what, Dr. Cameron Huxford, head over to their website. There it all is up on the screen. Give them a call, everyone. The Huxford Clinic. We'll be back after this short break. <laughs>